monstrous mounds of spuds arrive every day to the Wachusett Potato Chip Company in Fitchburg. How many potatoes are we talking? Right here is about 51,000 pounds approximately. And that's just one trailer full. Barry Kriziak's family started this company almost 80 years ago. He says depending on the seasonal demand, anywhere from four to six of these trailer loads will be dropped off in just one day. An intricate maze of machinery moves the potatoes through this building that once served as a jail housing Civil War spies. On their way to becoming chips or sticks, excess water is first removed from the potatoes, then they're peeled before hitting the rotary slicers. Take your finger right off? Oh, definitely. Slice it right off. One hundredths of an inch can be the difference between chip styles. On this day, those razor-sharp blades were creating potato sticks. This is where actually they're being fried. It's 1,100 gallons of cottonseed oil. After achieving the perfected color and crispness, the product is off to packing. Nearly one million pounds of raw potatoes pass through here a week. Whether it's regular, barbecue, or sour cream and onion, they're bagged and bound for your local sub shop <laughs> or corner convenience store. But this operation is now also nationwide. After the Utz Company bought Wachusett three years ago, this Fitchburg plant, now the sole provider of potato sticks for all of Walmart's 4,700 stores. It's a family, been a family going all these years, and it's good to see you know, we keep on growing. Nothing goes to waste at Wachusett Potato Chips. That pure potato starch that is removed prior to slicing the potatoes, it's actually repurposed and used in things such as adhesives and baby diapers. Doug Meehan, WCVB, New Center 5.